Hello friends, in this lesson we shall discuss financial ratios relating to capital market. Friends, capital market is the market where dealing is in long term securities and instruments. These securities may be shares, may be bonds, may be debentures and those investors who deal with capital market they must have understanding of certain important financial ratios. These ratios include earning per share ratio, price earning ratio, return on equity ratio, dividend yield ratio, payout ratio and market to book ratio. In this lesson our focus is on dividend yield ratio. Why dividend yield ratio is calculated? What does it indicate? This ratio is indicating annual dividend compared to the share price. Shares of a company they carry certain price in the market and company makes payment of dividend to the shareholders as a reward for investment. So this ratio expresses the relationship between the dividend being paid by the company and share price of the company. This ratio is calculated as a percentage and the variables which we need to calculate this ratio include dividend per share divided by price per share. So price here means current price per share. Precaution to be taken whenever we are making the calculation. The dividend paid should be the most recent financial year dividend or total during the last four quarters in the financial year. So if a company is paying a dividend on an interim basis, then whatever dividend has been paid during the financial year, everything has to be added because we have to take into consideration the dividend paid during the year. Let us see these examples. We have two companies here, company A and company B. Profit after tax, both companies it is 100 crore. Dividend rate paid by both the companies is 40% of profit after tax. Number of shares in company A is 10 crore. Number of shares in company B is 5 crore. Current market price of both the companies is 98. So current market price of their share is 98 in both the cases. Let us now calculate the ratio and try to find out what is the finding. Amount of dividend. So 100 crore is the total profit after tax. 40% is the rate of dividend against profit after tax. It means these companies have paid 40 crore rupees as dividend. Dividend per share. In case of company A, the number of shares is 10 crore. So in case of company A, 40 divided by 10 dividend per share is rupees 4. In case of company B, here the number of shares is less. So the amount of dividend they pay per share is rupees 8. And now we can calculate the ratio. The dividend yield in respect of company A it is 4.08 percent. So 4 that is amount of dividend per share divided by market price of the share 4.08 is the rate of dividend or dividend yield ratio in respect of company A and similarly in case of company B it is 8.16 percent. What do we see here? For the same amount of profit for the same amount of dividend, for the same market price, the ratio can change depending upon the number of shares. So those companies who are having lesser number of shares, their dividend yield ratio is higher compared to those companies where the number of share is more than the other companies. Now who are users of this ratio? 
This ratio is used by investors because they are interested to know about the dividend position, the bankers because they are providing finance, the analysts who are making use of this information for various purposes. And how this ratio is interpreted? Without any change in the rate of dividend, yield falls with the stock price rise. So whenever there is an increase in the stock price, here if this stock price increases to say rupees 200, then without any change into the rate of dividend, the ratio will fall. Similarly, if price of the share, it comes down with the same dividend paid, the ratio will increase. And why this ratio is important? It is estimate of dividend only return on the stock investment. So whatever amount has been invested in the stock, so it gives an estimate of dividend only return. So return can be in the form of capital appreciation, return could be in the form of dividend and this ratio indicates the return in terms of dividend only on the payment of the stock price. Similarly, it can be used to track performance of the company and also for intercompany comparison. So comparison can be made like what we have made here. So this ratio can be used for that purpose only. Well friends, I am sure the contents of this video will be beneficial to you. In case you found the contents useful, please do not forget to like the video and in case you are already not subscriber, please get the channel subscribed. Thank you for sharing your time.